segmented crabster or crobster. Parastachoidea reptantia. Creep crab family. This gigantic beast is wrapped in a hard shell. In an atypical evolution, the right front of the right front leg of this creature is hypertrophic, taking on the function of an arm rather than a leg. Its asymmetric physical development is unique in the natural world. One unlucky explorer's incorrect conclusion that this creature adheres to a pattern of peaceful, quiet behavior led to an unfortunate incident. In fact, this beast exhibits intense, intensely hostile, aggressive ten tendencies, aiming at the prey at its prey and ramming them at full speed. Ranging Bloister, Mollusca, mol Molluscaid Predatoria, Mollusking family, family. This species of mollusk has shed its shell through the process of evolution. What appears as a flower-shaped protrusion on its back actually functions as its gills. The ranging bloister ensnares small animals within its sticky tentacles, reels them in, and consumes them. Observers have noted that this creature exhibits a keen interest in flashing objects. It often tries to capture and ingest these objects. Researchers and explorers equipped with flashing identification beacons should be wary when in close proximity with this dangerous predator. Emperor Bullblacks, Oculus Supremus, Grub Dog Family. The largest member of the Grub Dog Family is normally found buried in the ground, with only the stalks of its eyes exposed. This camouflage allows the predator to surprise smaller creatures and use its long, adhesive tongue to capture prey. The thick hide and angular, angular hump give the organism a distinct rock-like quality. During the rainy season, the moss grows freely on its hump, making it nearly impossible to distinguish this lethal predator from a stone. The long legs, Pseudoarachnia amoralis, arachnoid family. Although the creature is commonly associated with spiders, it is actually the result of a separate evolutionary line of insect insectoid creatures. Since the spherical body section supported by the creature's legs carries most of its internal organs, there appear to be no other features that would correspond to a head or abdomen. Almost done. Burrowing Snagret, Shiropedes, Anacondi, Snavian family. The majority of Snagret species lie in wait to ambush and capture prey, with a body type perfectly adapted to such sudden strikes. It violently attacks small surface-dwelling insects. Distributed across a relatively wide range, the subspecies of snagret suited or subspecies of snagret suited to varying soil conditions have emerged, making the snagret the most geographically represented species besides the bulbworm. Visually resembling the burrowing snagret is the burrowing snarrow, the range of which partially overlaps with the snagret's range. While the two may appear similar, when pulled from the ground, they can be distinguished by the presence or by the presence or absence of a tail and wing markings. And final one, Empress Bullblacks, Oculus Matriarcha, Grub Dog Family. Initial observations place doubt on the capability of the Grub Dog Family to support a strong, a strong ant or bee-like social structure. But recent studies show the that the family is capable of such complexity. The egg sac of the largest female Grub Dog within a given range swells to dramatic proportions in response to environmental changes, such as the sudden depletion of prey species. These females temporarily take on the role of pack matriarch. Also, in pack formation, it has been observed that nearly all males not involved in species reproduction undergo natural sex changes. The characteristic of such specimens are quite intriguing indeed. Alright, I just thought I would talk about the bosses and read those bios because they are interesting, and if I had the option to go back and do it again, I would have read those bios at... At the, with the episode after every every uh, encounter with them, but I didn't, so I saved it for now. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 2. When we last left off, we fought the segmented crabster, or crobster, in the Wistful Wild, and now we're going to be taking out the final cave before some major changes start occurring in the Let's Play. So, let's land in the Wistful Wild, get some sprays, and then head into... The Hole of Heroes.
So, I've mentioned that there are certain things that happen regarding time in the Pikmin series. Uh, let's actually just grab out all whites, I guess. Unless some enemies have respawned. I think all whites is fine. But yeah, uh, certain enemies will spawn certain days, and they won't come back until later if you're, they're defeated. Are we fine? Yeah, I don't think any enemies are back. I think, yeah, I think we're good. We'll take reds just to be sure, but otherwise we should be fine. Actually, you know what? Let's let's get the 20 that we'll need, and that will make things easier. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, wait, yeah, okay. So, we're only on day, what, 15? 15. Day lag, apparently. Day lag. There we go. And so that means... That whatever we do, if we just keep steaming on ahead in the adventure, as we have thus far, that there are going to be certain things that I'm going to miss. And while I could cover those in a separate bonus video, I, I really don't want to. I'd rather exper experience these as they're meant to be experienced. So, starting tomorrow, after de we defeat this cave, I'm going to be doing a bit of a time skip. We're, we're going to be jumping forward up to day 30. So that a lot of the enemies that we were supposed to be, have seen thus far will actually show up. Otherwise, it's it's really... We're going to be missing out on so much. Like, some of the areas just don't feel right without their, their flagship enemies. Like, the Perplexing Pool is supposed to have the, uh, the Bull Bear in it. But it doesn't. Because we're, we're still too early in the adventure. And so, yeah, we're starting tomorrow. We're going to be doing that. If you want to rationale it in terms of the story, I guess you could say after we defeated the final the final uh, cave in this area, or the second to last cave, which is this one, the Hole of Heroes, we went on a bit of soul searching for for Louis. And that's what we did for the... Re Why are you back? This is a valid question. Why are you back? We killed you. Uh, we went searching for Louie, and that's what the 30 days have been. Maybe we went, we went back to the forest navel, wherever it is. Whether it's in the emergence cave, or what have you. And you can kindly die. Please die. Just, just die, so we never have to see you again. Thank you. Ugh, that enemy is so weird. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing, uh, so I can show off things. We're also, after today, we won't be coming back here for a while. For a good seven, eight episodes, maybe? Because we're going to be going and clearing off... Oh, I, I can't show you in the pause menu, can I? We're going to be clearing off the rest of the the uh, caves in the, the other areas. And then returning here for the very last cave, which is that one. We're saving that one for last. I won't even name it. Because that would be that would be spoiling things. All right, it looks like no enemies have respawned, so we're, we are good. All right, so for the rest of the day, I'm just going to be harvesting sprays. That's all I'm going to be doing with my white Pikmin, because we need more sprays, and then we're going to be heading into the Hole of Heroes, and then all, everything will go as planned. Man, we're it's coming to a close. Although I I still have I can take comfort. In the fact that that uh, after this, I'm just going to be immediately jumping into challenge mode with Nova. And that'll be a blast. That'll be a nice nostalgia trip. Because she played... Well, we both played um, Pikmin as, as children. I would We would switch off in our adventure. Oh, cool. More sprays. And more Mittites. We would switch off every every time we could play. Like, we, we would have an hour to play because time limits and enforced by uh, parental overlords and we would play the game until our time was up and then the other other player would pick up their log we didn't share a log we would we would alternate our logs and then we would see how far the other person could get and so it was really cool because eventually we we led up to the t or I almost named it uh, the I, I the final boss there we go the final trial we led up to that and couldn't do it and we, we ended up just going into an arms race with each other, and it kept us both playing the game. Uh, because we were trying to see who could get more prepared than the other person. I think I won. 
I think I ended up having more Pikmin, but that's also partially because she kept attempting the the final trial. I, I actually named the, the final boss accidentally, but oops, whatever. And, uh, the future pal probably did something to either bleep it out or, or make it so I didn't say it. Alright, so getting sprays. I wish I could quote that Jeff Kaplan song because it's great. I can quote the the you posted in the wrong developer update or whatever. That that's pretty good. You guys know what I'm talking about it's an Overwatch meme. It's if those of you who play Overwatch, which I don't think there are that many of you judging by how many views my Overwatch videos got. I don't think there are that many of you total. All right, so let's head back up with these white Pikmin. Not sure where I was going there. Man, it's it's really weird that the water's drained from here. It now that I know that it's the final trial, every time I look at it, I can't unsee. Like right here, there was not land right where I'm standing now. There's water. You would take red Pikmin up, and you would lead them across through the fire and the flames to get around to take down a bri uh, gate. Sorry, I always mistake that. It's just it's so weird. And is the place where we got bomb rocks gone? I think it is. Yeah. It may be over that little ledge there, but it used to be that you could get bomb rocks from from there. And I think that area kind of got eaten. It's it's really cool that they have flashback areas. And they do it strategically, too. In Pikmin 3, there are barely any uh, areas that have been recycled. I think they're, they're just one or two small segments. And that's it. And they don't really... They don't really touch on it much because by that point it's hundreds if not thousands of years after humanity has gone away due to Olimar leaving coming back leaving coming back so things are, are different and so the only remnant in Pikmin 3 of the previous areas is uh it, well obviously the Pikmin but the music the music is is the best part I was talking with with someone about this someone at my church who is a buddy of mine and uh, we were talking about music, and I had mentioned this game. I didn't name it because I didn't want to sound weird mentioning that uh, there's a good example of music from a video game. But there really is. The The composers are actual composers, and they do a great job. And they they deserve to be for their, their work to be called music, because it is. But uh, I was talking about how this game doesn't follow a tempo, and it's, it's nice. There are so many different cues that people get from the music of Pikmin. Uh, there are a lot of different tracks. For example, uh, Olimar, or sorry, Louis slash the President's tracks. They follow a different uh, time. I'm I'm not entirely familiar with, familiar with music, but they follow a different timing. It's like a six-eight tempo, and so and then they mix the tempo up a little bit during the song, so it never follows a set rhythm. Whereas Olimar, Olimar's tunes are set marching uh, beats. You could march to them. You could. You could always predict where they're going to go. They follow a set beat. But Louis and, and the president, because they're inexperienced, they don't. And they're seeing all this for the first time. Olimar, this comparatively, this is a much lower key adventure because he's not here to survive anymore. He's just here to, to as his part of his job. And so the music it reflects that. But in Pikmin 3, the music reflects that, the, that there are some rev remnants of what used to be but overall, it's just gone. The only the only evidence that these areas used to be something resembling a, uh, an ancient society are your memories of them. Just a couple a couple cues every now and then. Uh, my favorite track is in uh, the the distant tundra, I believe, uh, and that just has one or two small snippets from. The Valley of Repose, and it's just, it's beautiful. I, I love the music in these these games. I've listened to the OSTs countless times. Whether I'm doing uh, schoolwork or what what have you, I, I will listen to them a lot. And honestly, they're the best songs to listen to while doing schoolwork, because if you listen to something with words, then usually you'll get distracted or something, and you'll start singing along. But this, there's a rhythm, and you start thinking along that rhythm, and it makes things go faster. At least for me. I, I guess I just love Pikmin in general. All right, so how ma what is when is enough here? Because I, I keep getting sprays, but I'm not sure when when is too much. I guess I can just start doing it till the end of the day, and then head into the cave. That'll be a good stopping point. How am I for 
bitter sprays. I'm still far away. I probably won't get one anymore, but at least I'll get spicy sprays. I'm looking... Things are looking up for me. I have all the sprays that I really want for spicy. All right. So I'm guessing one more trip, and then we can bring our Pikmin over to the, the Hole of Heroes. And then we can move on to bigger and better things. Much like me, actually. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing after I finish this series, but it's it's going to be something. I, I really don't know at this point. Breath of the Wild has changed the channel in so many ways over the past month, I think, that it's been active. Because originally, I had all my series planned out for the next, I don't know... A year maybe close enough I think it was around a year that I had things planned out after uh, after Pikmin 2 I was going to be playing Assassin's Creed uh, 3 for the Wii U and then or I was going to be playing Mother and then Assassin's Creed 3 and then after that I was going to be playing um, actually some of these I shouldn't reveal but I, I had things fairly well planned out maybe to the next four or five let's plays which would be easily take up a year, but Breath of the Wild was something that I decided to do in a week's time. I mean, a week before the game came out, I, I asked Ryan, Hey, buddy, could you, like, could you mock up some art for Breath of the Wild? I'm not planning on Let's Playing it or anything. I just, I just want to see what it'll look like. And I ended up Let's Playing it. And it was entirely based on a, a whim and you guys saying that you wanted to see it. And now I don't know what I'm going to do. I could go back to that old formula. Wow, that, that grows back fast. Okay, so this is the last shipment. We'll follow all these back. Put all the whites back. Or most of them. And we'll take this out on the way. Here, take that out real quick. Come on. There. Alright, let's head back with all of our, our spoils. Get 20, 20, 20, 20, right? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, there we go. Uh, 100 Pikmin of all five colors total. And then we'll head into the Hole of Heroes. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We don't have that much time. Why are we... Oh, that's why we're missing so many Pikmin. Oh, there they are. Okay. So, put all of the whites back. Four. I'm buffering really well. Oh, no. I won't be able to make it, can I? I don't think I can. That's... Can I make it? Nine seconds. I'll, we'll try. We'll try. We'll try. Come on, come on. Oh, I, I left one in base. That's fine. Can I do it? No? Oh, no. I did not do it. Well, I guess I'll have to restart the day. We actually came close. Yeah, we came close. How far would we have gotten? Yeah, we would have gotten that far. Wow. Wow, that's a... That's a mistake. Oops. Uh, you know what? I want to keep this episode because I've talked about things. So, I guess I'll meet you back where I, I do this day properly, manage my time, and get there on time. My apologies. Oops. Alright, now with proper time management this time, in fact I took 20 of each kind of Pikmin out from the get-go, so I wouldn't risk having to to race the clock there. I honestly thought I had it, but having to total up those Pikmin really messed up my, my plan. Alright, so the Hole of Heroes. Let's go. I love how I, I've been a, such a major proponent of playing it where it lies, and then I did that, and uh, and and had to redo a day just because I, I wasted the day. Well, you can't win them all. Oh, I, I get how. This metal ball is special because it's metal. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I didn't, things were, uh, a lot easier than I thought. I can literally just push these up. What does this mean? I don't know what this means. It looks like a boss. I don't remember there being a boss here. We're not supposed to fight you yet. I knew there was a boss. 